boys and girls, let's continue with working on addition and subtraction solving word problems. All right, so today we're going to work on solving take apart word problems. So it says read the problem, then you will explore different ways to solve word problems. So let's look at our first word problem. You should be on page 10, page 10 of Lesson 2 Packet. I'm going to give you just a minute to get there. Yours is in black and white, so on the front you have the page with the grapes. You're on the second, third page. It's like this. So let's look at our problem. There are 15 players on a team. There are seven girls. The rest of the players are boys. How many boys are on the team? One more time. There are 15 players on a team. There are seven girls. The rest of the players are boys. How many boys are on the team? All right, model it. You watched a video talking about using a tape diagram. All right, a tape diagram is something you can draw. It is a lot like the part, part, whole. So, the total number it would go here, and then your two smaller numbers here. So, we know girls plus boys would give us our total number. All right, understand it. That's where we put all the information that we already know in, and we can figure out what we need to solve. So, we already know the to total number of players. Boys and girls, how many players are on the team? All right, it tells us there are 15. So, we have 15 written. We already know the number of Girls, how many girls were on the team? Yes, there were seven girls on the team. We know the rest are boys. We don't know how many. So that is the number we need to solve for. So there's a question mark there because we don't know how many boys. Now, it says you can draw a picture. We could draw a picture. We could also use that tape diagram. So, I could draw out my tape diagram here. I know my total is 15. And how many girls? Seven. I need to find out how many boys. Or, we could use our picture. So, they have dots for the total number of players. Let's count the number of dots. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. How many players? Fifteen players. There are how many girls? Seven. So how many G's for girls should there be? Yes, there should be seven. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we need to know how many boys, don't we? Right, that's a good way to visualize it. So either one of these models would work. We could draw the picture model. Or we could use this one. All right, turn the page and let's look. All right, connect it. Use a model and equation to solve the problem. What number is the total? What part do you know? Complete the model at the right. So boys and girls, how many 
players are on the team? Yes, there are 15. And how many girls? Seven girls. We need to know how many boys. So, write two equations for the model. They have blank plus what number equals 15? 15 minus blank equals what? What number are we missing? We're missing our seven. So seven plus what number equals 15? Or 15 minus seven. So we can add or subtract to find our answer. So we can count on, start with seven in our heads, count on until we get to 15. Start with seven, get ready? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's do it one more time. Seven in your head, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What answer did we get? Eight. Let's try it by subtracting and counting back. And make sure we get the same answer. All right, we've got fifteen minus seven. Start with fifteen and count back. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven. 10, 9, 8. Did we still get 8? Yes, we did. So our missing number is 8. 8. So, how many boys are on the team? 8. Tell how you know. 7 plus 8 equals... 15, or we could say 15 minus 7 equals 8. They're in the same fight family. about it. Why can you add or subtract to solve the problem on the previous page? Why are you able to add or subtract and still get the same answer? Why can I add 7 plus 8 and it get 15? Or I can Subtract 15 minus 7 and get 8. Why does that work? The three numbers I'm using are in the same what, boys and girls? They're in the same fact family. And you can use them to make different facts. So you can add or subtract within that family and still get answers that work. That's right, using those three numbers. All right, let's try one more. We'll go number seven. It says, Jen has 12 pencils. Seven are blue and the rest are white. How many white pencils does she have? Write an equation to solve. Jen has 12 pencils, seven are blue, and the rest are white. How many pencil, white pencils does she have? Write an equation to solve. All right, over to the side, we're going to make
our tape diagram. She has how many pencils? All right, 12 is your big number. All right, how many are blue? Seven are blue. And we don't know how many are white. You need to find out how many are white. So I want you to pause the video and write an equation to figure out how many are white. When you're ready to check it, you may press play. All right, let's go over it. So you could subtract 12 minus seven that missing number or I could say 7 plus that missing number will give me 12 all right so I'm going to start here with 7 put it in my head and count on to the big number 7 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. One more time. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, I got 5, but I'm going to check myself by subtracting. Start with 12 and count back 7. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All right, both times my answer was 5. So how many pencils were white? The answer is five pencils were white. Five pencils were white. Check your work. give you a couple of little questions as a check today it's not for a grade just to see how well you're understanding what we're learning and then you need to practice your reflex today get in at least 20 minutes and then we will continue learning about word problems and addition and subtraction strategies tomorrow Thank you.